everyone and welcome back to another installment of the viral podcast i'm your host chelsea lynn and i'm your host Paige jen and thank you guys for joining us today thank you very very much uh couldn't do it without you and we just love having you here on this bright day if you weren't here listening to us we'd be talking to ourselves Mm -hmm. we say that every week and we mean it (laughs) and we mean it dude because that's literal Oh, yeah. And we would like to also announce that we are about, I did the math the other day, honestly, of our follower count. Uh-huh. Uh, Ooh. A billion, you know, minus our followers. Yeah. Because we need that little ticker going. Yeah. We still need to get a ticker. But go. yeah, go ahead. No, that was pretty much oh, it. it. It was a large number. I forgot it. But. Well, we're just trying to take over the world. So if you could just keep sharing, liking, and commenting. Big that. time. And also, we don't know the exact date yet we will keep y'all updated but greg is currently over in the new podcast studio building walls for us big pussy walls big pussy walls so we are in the home stretch of the new studio it's gonna be way nice for us we're gonna have more space we're gonna have a completely new look leg room oh god we're gonna have leg room we don't need Allegra anymore. No. And, um, what, what is Allegra? It's allergy medicine. Oh, shit. <laughs> Dude, we're going to be so far away from each other. It's going to be nice. I might get cold. Because if you listen to the pod and you don't watch us, you guys don't know how small it is in here. And the people that watch, we have it set up very good to where it looks like we have space in here. We don't. Oh, no space. I guarantee you everyone over there can smell my pussy right now. Yep. Yeah. You know, and I know they can, and oh, I know you can sure. as well. Feet and pussy. Yeah. Uh, so okay. we're excited to have a little bit of space in the new pod room. We're going to have a new look. Me and Paige were talking about it today. It's going to be a surprise. Um, we will have a whole area for guests. We're not going to have guests regularly on the pod, but if we want to, guess what? They're going to be popping in. We can because we got space. Mm -hmm. and extra chairs and people have been asking youtube videos i think i'm gonna do it they want a behind the scenes of the podcast but they just don't understand all we look at cords oh yeah i'm looking at cords right now it's not like fancy in here no they think we have like damn kitchenette and stuff and we post we post pictures of behind the we post all the time they know. know what it looks like in here they want full details oh okay all right um can i bring something up uh before we get started into everything maybe maybe oh no well Paige got so high oh no (laughs) 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 Paige got so high the other day and said something that blew my mind so let me set it up for you toasted We had a show, I don't even remember where we were, where it was almost done with tour. We were in, I don't know. Philly. It was Philly. Me and Paige were sharing a hotel room. (laughs) It was after the show. We're sitting there. I took a shower. We're kind of winding down for the night. And uh, Brett, are you okay? Yeah. (laughs) Dude, he's staring at the black wall. He was staring at the wall. (laughs) He's trying to blow the weed smoke that way. Get a a shot. Damn alien. Brett, doing what you were just doing just now and get a shot of that. This is what I was looking at. Go. (laughs) I was blowing smoke. Okay. She said weed, and then I think, oh, yeah, I need to smoke. Okay. Back to my story. So we're winding down for the night, about to go to bed or whatever, and lights are still on, and she's sitting on the edge of the bed. I don't even know what she's doing. Scrolling. I don't know. TikTok. And I, t- yeah, maybe. Well, that's what I was doing. I was laying in bed, scrolling TikTok. And I came across a video of Michael ja- a Michael Jackson performance that said his first time ever doing, what's it called? Uh, the, moon the moonwalk. Walk. His first time ever doing the moonwalk. And I'd seen him do it, but I'd never, you know, everybody's seen that, but I had never seen the video. So I was like, oh, let me watch it. And it said like, crowd goes wild and i was like oh let me watch this so i start watching it let me add something chelsea listens to her videos really loud out loud you know 
So yeah. you can hear every video being played. Yeah, you, you, you could hear it. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I'm sitting yeah. there. I'm watching it. And like, a minute goes by. He hadn't done it yet. Another minute goes by. He hadn't done it yet. So I'm thinking internally. I'm like, damn, when's he going to do this? I don't want to skip because I don't want it to, to miss it. You know? So I'm like, damn. So it wound up being like a four-minute video. And he does it at the very end. Mm-hmm. So right when he does it and I see it, I click out of it. And Paige goes, dang, <laughs> that that must have been a really good video for you to watch the whole thing. And I said, well, he was doing the moonwalk for the first time, so I just wanted to see it. You said you were waiting for the moonwalk. I go, yeah, I was waiting for him to do the moonwalk. And she goes, she looks up dead ass serious and goes, you know I don't believe in that, right? <laughs> and right when she said that, I knew that she had no clue what I was talking about, and I knew what she was talking about. I thought she was talking about the moon landing. I was the so moon high. landing of the what's his name walking on the moon. Neil Neil I thought, Armstrong. Yeah, I thought she was talking about Neil Armstrong after that. And the second she said that, I looked over. I go, huh? <laughs> and then she, right when I did that, she knew she put two and two together that I was listening to a Michael Jackson song. And we were laughing so fucking hard. And I go, that's the highest thing you've ever said. That, but I was really high that one time when I thought we went bowling before we went bowling. And I asked how bowling was. <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen, we were in Lake Tahoe with some friends. And we were about to go bowling. We were all getting ready to go bowling. Paige comes in my room, high as fuck, and goes, how was bowling? And I go, don't know, honeys, we haven't been yet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, honeys, haven't gone yet. How was bowling? I go, we haven't gone yet. We're about to go. Dude, that was just, I just, I thought it was funny. I just wanted to share that. Real high times. High times here. Mm. You think people understood the story? Yeah. Had to have. Yeah, and if you don't, use high. Something. Yeah. Oh, one other thing. Our freaking airplane almost crashed. Oh, my God. It was scary. The guy, the freaking pilot comes on the intercom and goes, oh, we're going to have to circle around for another 15 minutes. The weather's too bad to land. And, uh, so, air, yeah, air traffic control just did not give us the okay. So, we're just circling. Well, the air- first off, me and you are flying from Philly back home to film this pod. And we get to the airport, and it's the littlest plane you've ever seen. This is not a big regular plane. This is like a little plane. So right there, me and you both go, oh, no. Like, you know. It was musty. (sighs) Two-seaters. There's something about being in a tiny plane that does not feel safe. I dropped my cracker, and I couldn't even bend over to pick it up because the seats were too small. Uh, Yeah, and you're a quarter my size. How do you think I felt? I was miserable the whole time. You did not feel good. So anyway, yeah, we're sitting there. We're about to land in in Nashville. Pilot comes on, says that, says air traffic control won't let us land. It's not safe. We're going to stay up here and do some circles. We know how we we said no circles. We said no no circles. circles. We said no circles. Well, all of a sudden, we're doing circles about, what, 15 minutes? (laughs) And keep in mind. Chelsea never heard the announcement. (laughs) No, because I think I was sleeping. So anyway. Keep in mind, Paige is two rows behind me. So, I woke up, and we're doing circles. And homeboy next to me is praying. Eyes closed, hands together, up in the air, praying. And listen, I've had turbulence in a plane before. This was different. This was not normal turbulence. Our plane was on its fucking side. Okay? It was like this. It was on its side. We were doing circles, and the turbulence was so bad that for the first minute, I thought, okay, it'll it'll calm down, it'll calm down. And it kept getting worse. And I literally was like, we're going to die. We're going to go nose We're going to die doing a left turn. That would happen. And I wasn't even scared or terrified. I was pissed. Because I was thinking, man, I've got things to do when I get home. I've got things coming up. I literally was like, oh. I'm not going to be able to do the cruise, the Tammy cruise. Who's going to post my next Instagram Who's going to post my next Patreon? You know, like literally I was like, I've got things to do. 
And then I was pissed. And then we made it on the ground, and I've never felt relief. Makes I thought we were going to die. It makes you never want to fly again, and then you fly again. Oh, I'll be on a plane next week, probably. Oh, for sure. You but just anyway, got to get places sometimes. Anyway, yeah, we almost died. Mm-hmm. So are you guys glad we're here? Because mm-hmm. we're ready to go viral. Because we got to take over the world. We can't die. I know, I was thinking, who's going to take over the world? I was just thinking of all we that. We can't leave it up to Brett to take over the world, and nothing will get done. It's It'll just, get it done. Oh, we've heard all that. Brett, <laughs> Brett, you won't get nothing done, my man. It'll be on you'll, time. You'll be staring at walls. You can't take over the world staring at walls. And twisting the mustache. <laughs> so anyway, okay, yeah, so we're alive. and um, Still alive, but mm. we're barely breathing. No. <laughs> What else are we doing? Are we doing segments? Are we done talking or we're no? Do, we're done talking, but I think we should let someone else talk, maybe. If, oh, shit. if you want to go ahead and... Uh... So the other day I burnt popcorn really bad in the microwave. I set it for like four minutes which is kind of dumb so smelled really bad and uh, it's really hard to get the smell out i did a lot of tiktoks it seems like uh if you boil lemons and lemon water you know that would work that that worked the best but then another thing i watched they said uh to get oven cleaner for your microwave and went to get the oven cleaner and then i watched tiktoks that said don't Use oven cleaner in your microwave, because that's bad. So always make sure you do your own research, you know. Uh, um, I saw an experiment where they had uh, red ants and black ants. They put them in a jar and nothing happened, but if you shake the jar, they'll just start killing each other. That kind of just shows, you know, always look at who's stirring up the pot. Brett, this is your dad. Time's up. Lean back. Did I hear birds chirping the entire time you were talking? I could hear something the wow. whole time making noises. Like it, a song was playing really light or something. It sounded like birds chirping. Yeah. You guys heard that? It was subliminal. What? I'm just kidding. So Sublim- what's the truth? Subliminal? No, there are no birds. If you're watching, Brett got a uh, refresher on his mullet. Yes. He got his haircut. His, his, that, that, that's a mullet, Brett. Thank you. By the way. Yeah, Jerry did a good job. Yeah. Can we actually figure out the birds? Let's yeah. be quiet and see if we listen to them. Ready? Not at all. It's only when he was talking. Brett, talk. Do I sound angelic, maybe? I don't hear it now. Some type of... That was funky. Uh, I didn't hear birds. I heard like... F- Music playing or something really? very little in the Did background. you guys know if you carry a staff around that's considered grounding? <laughs> Brett, your time's up. <laughs> Brett, your time is up. <laughs> Brett, staff. your time's up. All Brett. we have... Staff infection, but no. Yeah. Brett, your time's up. Wean back. Huh? Oh. All right. Oh I'm going to go ahead and announce oh. Rock Fucker of the Week. You guys, every week I pick a Rock Fucker to, um, oh, and there's something else I want to say that reminds me. To um, Maggie's going to send you a free exclusive Rock Fucker t shirt. Um, that's not a part of our merch. It's exclusive. But if you do want merch, go to varapodcast.co. Um, we started doing merch different as well. We're not, we don't have all the t-shirts we had on there. We do have our top two sellers, but we're doing monthly drops. Monthly merch drops. It's a different t-shirt every month. And we're, I think we're doing like a hundred a month. And once they're sold out, we don't. So be, be quick on it. Be quick on it. And the be, first we're the beginning of each month so yeah. be on the lookout check yes. our instagram stories all the stories because we'll do updates 100 percent. this week's rock fucker of the week is nikki sims <laughs> <laughs> nikki. congratulations honey you are rock fucker of the week thanks for clicking and ticking um that reminded me i had a lady come up to the meet and greet i forgot where i was uh, Detroit May, I don't know. And she came up and uh, old lady, elderly, starts walking up to me and she's doing this. And if you're listening, she had one one hand in a fist. She had the other hand over the fist 
But the hand that was in a fist, she was turning like this. It's like the mullet. If, if you were going to, this is called like the mullet. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, so she's doing that and then humping and it. And then doing it. And she, she was walking up to me and she was doing this. And I go, <laughs> hey, honeys, <laughs> what are you doing? She goes, hey, honeys, oldest rock fucker here. I'm fucking a rock. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Did you die? Oh, Maggie, I lost my shit. They said I that this lost it. is a way to communicate to other rock fuckers and oh. to let them know you're a rock that fucker a rock without fucker. talking. Yep. <laughs> without oh. talking. <laughs> we I, have our own sign now. It's You're fucking oh. a rock. Look, Sign language? That's yeah. funny. I think this is what they call the mullet. So like if we're going to go give each other a fist pump, let's say, and then somebody catches you with the mullet. Oh. oh. But then you just hump it. Yeah, yeah but Somebody's now it's the hump. rock fucker. And she was the lady who we met. We had a show in Detroit, and afterwards we went to Denny's, and her and her daughter were in Denny's. And then we mentioned them on the pod, and they were so happy when we mentioned them on the pod. So I'm mentioning her again. Yeah, and they were so sweet. Everyone was so sweet meeting them at your shows. We got the best gifts, and oh, we really appreciate all the handmade and thoughtfulness, just everything that goes into it. It's been a blast. These coasters, everything. It's been a blast. I'm done with tour, but I'll see you guys in the fall. Be on the lookout for... Tour dates. Mm-hmm. So. Up. All right. Well, <clears throat> I think it's time we, I don't know, open a can of beans and roll that beautiful bean footage. Hello, and welcome to the Moo Moo Commercials. Our next partner has a product I use literally every day. I started taking AG1 because it's hard for me to swallow pills. So with the powder form and all the supplements just in one, is so convenient and easy for my lifestyle. Literally, all you gotta do is just put it in a cup of water, mix that up, and that's it. So, what is this stuff? You know, I know, I know you're asking that, Chelsea Page. What is this stuff? Listen, it's a it's a bunch of stuff that's good for you. That's what it is. We're talking seventy five high quality vitamins, you guys, minerals. All right, probiotics. And adaptogens to help you start your day off strong and right. Listen, I do all of my healthy stuff in the mornings, you know, because by the end of the day, listen, I want a bologna sandwich. I'm not going to lie. I want a bologna sandwich for dinner. In the mornings is when I do all my healthy stuff. It's easy. You wake up, you scoop it out, you mix it up, you down it. The taste is good. I know that you... You're going to look at the green and think, oh, it's going to taste all funky. No, 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 ma'am. It's got a vanilla flavor. It's easy to get down, easy to drink, and we both do it every morning. Athletic Greens was created when the founder experienced a ton of gut health issues and ended up on a complicated supplement routine to recover. It cost him $100 a day, all right? He created Athletic Greens after experiencing how difficult it was to create an optimal nutritional routine on your own. And, you guys, this company, for every purchase, they donate to organizations helping to get nutritious food to kids in need, including No Kid Hungry here in the U.S., and that's awesome. Right now, it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition. It's just one scoop in a cup of water every day. That's it. No need for a million different pills and supplements to look out for your health. And to make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash viral. Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash viral to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. Hey, honeys. I need some life advice now. All right, so back maybe about four months, I dated a girl. It only lasted about two months, and we broke up. But while we were dating, she moved in. She brought her cats with her two cats specifically, and I have two cats of my own, so now I have four cats. Um, after we broke up, she moved out, and I still have her cats months later. Uh, my house is sinking, and it's making it hard to date. You know, girls ask about the four cat, about my animals and four cats, and I always just tell them, oh, um, I, I have my friend's cats over, and I feel bad for lying because I don't really want to 
tell these girls that I'm wanting to date, that I have my girlfriend's cat at the house. I know she's she's having a financial situation. She can't find places to live for the cats to live. Um, but it's really making me hard to be able to date with these cats in my house. What should I do? Should I tell her to take the cats back? Should I just force the cats back? But I do love these cats, and I do care about them. I know she's struggling. I just need help. What should I do? I love you guys so much. I listen to your podcast. Every time it comes out, you guys are the fucking best. I love you guys. Bye. We love you. Love you. Thank you for calling in. You're in a pickle. Yeah, because cats, man. Four cats, two? That's a that's a lot of cats. And it'd be different if he didn't if he didn't like the cats, but he says he loves them, so he feels I, that's hard. Because you can't just go let him off at the freaking no, church or fire no. station. Like you, you actually care, but, and he's sweet because he still cares about his exes. What a cool dude! And he cares about the new people caring about the ex. Oh. He's just a care bear. Listen though, I I know you love them, but those are her cats. It's been months. She needs to figure this out. She, listen, if your house is stinking. Time's up. Cat's back. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I mean, time's up. <laughs> it's been, what do you say, several months? Yeah. Your your house is stinking. It's been several months. She needs to figure this out. Like, if it were me, I would just be like, I wouldn't feel guilty. I'd be like, listen, you you your cats have to go somewhere else. So your family, yeah. your friend, like your family, friends, whatever. But like, I can't keep these cats. I would send her a text. I'd start out with sending her a text saying, "Hey, honey's hey, cats here. Hey, honey's. Hey, honey's extra cats <laughs> yeah. here. Start with that. Two extra here. Uh, say how much longer till you're back up on that those feet <laughs> and running and you running, know? running back to get them cats. <laughs> That's funny. Hey, honey's." <laughs> Oh, man, dude. And also, I just feel like, I don't know, man. It's been several months. You're going in back and you're getting your animals. Like, what, Like, you're finding another place for them besides your ex-boyfriend. She's taking advantage of your kind heart. Yes, because, damn, dude, you have to think, yeah, the extra turds, the smells, the food, the meows the litter box all the shit all the shit dude and there's you're, too much you're just trying to get pussy mm-hmm not you that know? not no. that type of pussy. not that type human human i you know you go over to guy's house and the motherfucker's got four, four cats. cats and the house smells like cat shit <laughs> <laughs> no thank you <laughs> we're leaving yeah are you leaving maggie leaving yeah there's no i can't fight through that shit yeah yeah, I think if it's an if it's become a nuisance to you, I don't don't feel guilty about asking her to do something with them. I would not feel guilty at all. She is taking advantage of your of your kind heart. You've helped out. She's it's been long enough. She needs to take on her family, whatever, something else for the time being. <laughs> He's just lying. Oh yeah, they're my buddy's cats. <laughs> yeah, they're my friend's cats. <laughs> Then, the, then he meets the Fred. <laughs> These are your cats? No. I know. God, that's a tough one. But I, I don't I feel like I feel like time's up. This is a good this is a pretty simple one to get out of. Yeah. Stand up for yourself. Tom's up. Listen, something's gotta be done. Let's figure this out. Please. I'll give you a week. They gotta be out of here. Mm -hmm. Scat. Scat. Love that's you, a, honeys. Love you, honeys. Thank you for calling in. Mm -hmm. Oh You're sweet. Hey, honeys. Um, I have a question here. I have a situation. I'm kind of nervous. Like, I don't know what to do. This guy I met on Tinder, so fucking hot. Like, literally, so hot. Just um, mm. beautiful. We're going to link up soon, um, you know, a couple days. And we were kind of just, you know, sexting, and he was like, so, you know, what are you into? I went over what I'm into, blah, blah, blah. And it gets to him and he says that he really likes getting his ass ate. So I've never done that before. I don't even know where I would start. Um, I haven't really heard Paige or, you know, and Brett talk about really eating ass. I know she has before, but what is, is it circular motion? Is it up and down? What is the right um, 
flow, you know, what feels good on the gooch. Let me know, honeys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You take this in a white ass eater. Mm, how do you eat ass? Mm, how, how do you, you eat ass? ass? <laughs> Tell her. Damn, I mean, I'm not so experienced on ass eating that I actually know a technique of ass eating. Wait, how many times, even if it's the same person, how many times would you say you have eaten ass? Um, She's counting. Damn. Hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. You have a number in your mind. Brett, have a number in your mind of... How many times Paige has eaten your ass? Probably on average. Don't just say my it. My ass. Just your ass. In the full length of us. My yes. Ass. Yes. Okay. Don't say it out loud. Don't say it out loud. Okay. Paige, write yours down right here. Damn, dude. Are I'll we just on? Sign mine. Are we on? No, Jeopardy? you'll tell. No, you'll tell me in a minute. Okay. Don't don't look, Brett. Okay. We're we're seeing on average how much Paige thinks she has eaten ass. No, just total. Just total. Yeah. Okay. And then Brett. Okay. So I have Paige's number here. So Brett, you go ahead and say yours verbally. Wait, this is hold without on. Brett. Hold on, hold on. Two? No, it's just me. Just How many times have you eaten my ass? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Brett. Come on. I was gonna say five. No, no just but I'm say, say but six either. now. Six. Okay, you you guys are a little off. Paige says fifteen. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Probably I do black out sometimes. <laughs> oh black, my God. Blacks out while getting his ass ate. <laughs> Damn, that's that's, a, that's a strong tongue. Hey, yeah, whatever I'm, she's huh. doing, she's like, twirling she down does there. Like a reach around too. Yeah. Oh, sometimes I think I poke it. You poke in the oh, side she of the tongue asshole? punches. You do the hokey pokey. Like, yeah, I think I do tongue punch the fart box, and then I. Uh, hmm. Okay, so this this chick. I don't be too rough, but not too gentle either, because you don't want it to tickle. If anything is a little too gentle on your asshole, it's gonna tickle. Yeah, that's true. That is true. Yeah, come in with force. Cut, but but here's the thing: you don't have to like go crazy fingering it while you're eating it. Just rim, rim your tongue around. Oh, no fingers really get involved. I don't. I'm not trying to pull out any sort of yeah, juice. No, or no butt bang. Ass. <laughs> no, just tongue. Just tongue, strictly tongue, I think. I th- yeah, I think so too. Here's my th- here's my thing. I'm worried that if you get down there and you taste ass juice, I'll fucking get up and walk out. Here's the thing. I would text him. If you're comfortable with it and comfortable with him, I would be like, bro, listen. If I'm going to eat your ass, you have to take a shower right before. I say Respect. on the premises. All about that's that, what I'm saying. Yeah, it's all about that mutual respect. Right. Right. Because if you know beforehand, if this is a planned thing and you're still not washing your ass, that's bad on you. Well, some people are disrespectful. But if you don't know if you're, it's just a random hookup and your ass is dirty, no. you take one for the team, I guess. Because... Mm. Mm-mm. Well, if you're planning on doing it, she said they're planning on it. They met. They've they've oh, they're yeah. planning this. They've been sexting. So he needs to have his ass clean, pristine. Like I don't want one drop of juice on there. And get the hair because sometimes I've had to pull out uh, butthole hair. <laughs> Ooh, and then look at Brett. Brett's butthole hair <laughs> in Paige's teeth. Yeah, I keep everything. I have uh, four and a half inch pubes. You're you have the hairiest asshole I've ever seen. Yeah, I try to pull on it to get them out in the shower. Why? Just to get them out. Pull on it? <laughs> yeah, I don't like to shave. So I just. So like, you just pull your asshole hairs oh, instead of shaving? That's, yeah. oh, that's aggressive. God. What? <laughs> yeah. huh. why, why would why you. Why not just wax it? Like you yank them? Yeah, I yank them out. A Why? big, a big pile. So sometimes out I'll forget to yank. No. You got me on a bad yank day. I think. Now hold on. Don't ever say you got me on a bad yank day again. <laughs> Weird Al Yankovic. No, and if y'all have seen Brett's asshole, and I have plenty of times, it's I, we're not talking about a few hairs. We're talking about Brett. You have a lot of fucking hair down there. Yeah. So you just get in the shower and fucking pull it. Yeah. Yeah, I yank him out, but I think I'm gonna stop doing that. Because I want to get those super long, too. Like four and a half. <laughs> what? Uh, hey, Brett. That's probably why he's got those pussy lips from yanking. Yeah. No, that's on the inside. Trauma. Hey, Brett, are you grabbing a big patch or a couple hairs at once? It's important. I'm grabbing a whole. Damn, a whole like patch. like probably ten. 
Okay. So like you're picking grass. You're out in the field yeah. just picking grass. Yeah. But okay. it's your ass. Why, why instead of shaving? A- 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 answer me that. Why? I just don't, I don't have time. I feel like but I you're in there yanking. You're in there yanking. <laughs> you're in there yanking. Well, I'm in there cleaning. So while I'm cleaning, I'm just kind of yanking. That's got to fucking hurt. No, I know. If you get one eyelash and tweeze it out, it hurts. Think about yanking felt, a full patch of I like of to yank hair. my nose hairs too. I'm a yanker. Yeah. I've never heard. I've never heard of that. You should have played for the Yankees. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was going. Stop! 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 I can't. Stop! I can't. Stop! Oh, that one sent me. God. That was a good one. That was a good one. That was the best one you probably <laughs> ever said. That was good. Who? It's getting hot in here, dude. That was so random, though. The Jesus Yanks. Christ. I didn't know he did that because he is in the shower for like 40, 40 minutes. No. <laughs> I always try to do at least 20 because that's grounding, but I always probably only do like 10. Not hairs. <laughs> He's talking about oh, I know. minutes. Minutes. Yeah, totally. Oh, shit. Brett, would you wax your butthole? Oh, yeah. I bet you yeah, would I love would. it. I would. Would you let, uh, would you let Beth? No. She <laughs> <laughs> Beth said no. <laughs> All right. Hi. If we took you to a European wax center. Yeah. You would wax your butthole. Oh, yeah. I think you would love it. I love having my butthole waxed. Taint There's too? no better feeling. I gotta do the taint. Yes. I think Brett would just like the pleasure of just like a woman doing that to his asshole. Like he would like the spread. The lather. Really? He would like Probably, to be all yeah. spread up all on the. Ticklish. <laughs> I love get, I love the warmth of the wax on my butthole and I love how it feels after. Oh. It's Ooh, amazing. Just not too hot, not too cold. Not it's just perfect. It's amazing. Now, I hate getting my pussy waxed, but butthole, oh my God. Do you get the little gooch, that little thing in between your butthole? And- Have to. Perineum. Have to. Does that spot hurt? No. What hurts is the fupa, the top of the of the pussy. The Not the lip. The lips hurt too, but the you know what I'm talking about? Like the up like there? Like where my pubes are? Yes. What if I got all my pubes waxed? You've been growing those out of... Years. Would I have to seriously chop them in half to get them waxed? Her, she'd probably trim them, trim them yeah. I'm, I'm not ready <laughs> to let go of them yet. You're not ready emotionally. Mm-mm. Brett, we should get your butthole waxed. Yeah. 250. I was about, I'm, I'm waiting on uh, it. Oh, yeah. I'm, you going to charge me 250K? I to, forgot Sony's not involved. Sony's so. not involved in this one. No, it's fine. So would you still do it? Mm-hmm. So if, if you say this, but then I I bring it up out of the pod and then you say no, are you going to do that? No, I'll do it. Really? Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, we'll Should see. we plan it right now? Or? We'll see. No, okay. we'll, we'll make sure to secretly vlog you after this. I'll make an appointment and I'll pay for it. How about that? that sounds great. How about that? Can it be a woman too? Yeah. Thanks. Sure. <clears throat> I've never had a guy wax me, I don't think. Ever. I've never had a, a, a male waxer ever. Oh. I but bet I, they're pretty good at it. Yeah, I bet they are. Oh, I don't. Maybe I, I should do a guy. <laughs> I wouldn't care. I would let a, you know, male waxer. But, oh, I've had so many chicks be like, oh, men come in here and get their balls waxed. And I'm thinking, that is such a sensitive area. Just mm. think of that stretch, that ball stretch. Ooh. I bet you get some long balls. <laughs> <laughs> just long slapping ass. back on the seat. <laughs> just, <laughs> Dude, Yeah. I wish they would take slow-mo videos of that. Well, we're going to take Brett um, to get his asshole waxed, so be on the lookout for that. I'll his, stop yanking. His stop yanking. balls, that little gobbler thing, is so long. Really? Yeah, I, got I haven't seen balls. them. I don't think I've seen your balls. I've seen your winger and your butthole. I'm going to well, There's it. a lot of hair on them. Yeah. Should I? We're not doing the balls, are we? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Not unless oh. you want. I wouldn't. No, I don't want to do that. Don't do that. Yeah, taint, though. You want your taint, butthole? Yeah. Okay. We're doing it. Okay. Be on the lookout. Taint, nothing but a... <laughs> All right. What was the initial question? She's wanting to know how to I eat ass. ass. Yeah. Oh, shit. We're still there? Yeah. yeah. Holy fuck. There's no way. Here's the thing, honeys. Don't overthink this. Just get down there, fill out the vibe, yeah. and just lick. I mean, have you ever had a caramel apple sucker, any type of sucker? Pretend like it's a, one of those jawbreakers. You're just trying to get to the middle. Just lick. Can I add something? Yeah. I, I think he should send a video on how he wants to get eaten. Uh, yeah. Like is, you're showing, just do it like, like this. You, you want a haircut? 
you know? and it's just, and picture, it, it, but it's just him going do this. <laughs> yeah. No, like a video on like you know a certain website. Mm. Mm. Yeah, the hub. Just do it like this and. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Demonstration. Either way, honeys, good luck. Don't overthink it. You got this. Just take Be confident. Let your tongue lead the way. It will too. Just seriously. That's it really all you will. have to do. Don't own that ass. Yeah. Own that ass. And good luck. Good luck, honeys. Love you. Hey, honeys. Rock Funker from Florida here. Um, First of all, I have to say that uh, my husband and I were going through a rough patch, but um, we got back together and just fucked for the first time last night. I'm so tired today at work, but it was worth it, honeys, because uh, who doesn't love a good nut? Um, oh, yeah. Anyways, um, I just wanted to call in. I was listening to the latest pod about the finger sniffer guy, um, and I just wanted to call in and say I'm also a finger sniffer. Um, I like the smell of my scalp, like not like sweaty scalp, but like after it's been, you know, like a day's passed and I, I'll scratch my scalp and I'll sniff and I love my own scent. Um, I also scratch my balls and, and sniff and that's how, you know, I need to know, I need to, you know, time to shower, you know, but anyways, um, super happy rock fucker here and I enjoyed your show, Chelsea and Ponte Verde, just getting Ponte Vedra. Um, and I love you ladies. Uh, Brett, Take the hands off the wall and put them on that cheeks, man. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Damn. Take them hands off was, the wall and put them on my butt cheeks. I thought I was going to tell you said to do bed better. sheets. Butt cheeks. Butt cheeks. Okay. Bed sheets. <laughs> what uh-huh. says here bed sheets? I don't know. Google Voice. Oh, oh Google okay. Voice is not correct. Come on, Brett. I heard butt cheeks. Wow. So he is also a finger sniffer. Loves the smell of his scalp and loves the smell of his sweaty balls. Loves the smell of a scalp. I kind of get that because even like I'm wearing a hat right now and I notice a different type of smell even when you wear a hat from not wearing one. If you rub your fingers through, it does hmm. get a little aroma. Hmm. What's it, it smell like? Damn, it just smells like kind of scalp. <laughs> there's yeah, I like really how not, she smells. There's really yeah. not a way to put it. Maybe a little oily or. I don't think I've ever smelled my garlic. scalp. Garlic. Oh, it could if you're eating a lot of garlic. Yeah, you got to b- make sure you both eat garlic so that way you can't smell it. I'm not going to lie. I've been getting a lot of cheese out of my belly button and it smells <laughs> so yeah. fucking bad. Don't ever fucking say that again. You've been getting a lot of cheese out of your belly button? The last couple of weeks because I've never really get the stuff out of my belly button. And I've been dipping Q-tips in there, and it looks like shredded cheddar. <laughs> Crumbly cheddar. What's it smell like? Fuck, I bet I could dig in there right now and Don't. give you some. Don't. I'll fucking puke. Okay. <laughs> then uh, I would say, have you ever had one of those earrings that's like, smells really bad? Oh, God. That's kind of like what the belly button smells like. And you know what? Why do our bodies stink? And why do they stink so fast after a shower? (laughs) Like, you take a shower and you expect like, oh, okay, I'll start stinking in a week or two. No, it's within, it's within 30 minutes you're stinking. Mm -hmm. Why? It's just like we spend our life just trying to hide all these holes that smell. (laughs) We have holes that smell. Belly buttons, pussies, ears, buttholes, mouths, nose. Yeah. Shorts. Huh? Your shorts. Yeah, I that's should, the whole. Yeah, yeah, just, just <laughs> our bodies stink so bad. And people get the biggest blackheads, dude. My dad has the biggest blackheads on his back. I could on his fu- back. Mm-hmm. Didn't know about that. Backheads. Backheads. And they are huge, and they like they will smell a blackhead smells. Oh God. <laughs> Mackie looks high. Just body smell, man. <laughs> Second hand. <laughs> like, she goes, mm. points at Brett. Yeah. Speaking of which. Free smells. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. <sighs> That's wild. A lot of people love the smell of their own. He loves the smell of his sca- I wouldn't say I love it or even like it or even, I mean. You don't notice? Well, I'm, I can smell stuff. Do you guys smell your scalps? I told Beth last night, 
like behind my ears stink. You mm. gotta clean them shits. <laughs> and I asked her and Tina if they clean behind their ears. Yes. Ben said she does. Tina said she doesn't. Oh, I if I don't clean behind my ears. Yeah, that's what I'm doing a lot of the times. In the I'm shower. not scrubbing back there for sure. I'll oh, maybe put my hand all, back there. No, I'll, the I'll take a washcloth with soap and scrub behind my ears and on my ears. You don't clean your ears? No. I do now, but recently I haven't. Oh, yeah, you got to clean your ears. What was it smelling? Like a few feeling, months ago, I, I was scratching back there, and there was, like, cheese. God! <laughs> and it stunk so fucking bad, and I was like, oh, I didn't know behind the ear would Dude, do that. it was orange, almost. <laughs> it was white cream. Oh, my cream. God. Hold on. It's white cream. Can you imagine meeting Maggie on Tinder? <laughs> <laughs> you look her up. You're in the car after your date. You're kissing on her neck. Oh, shit, dude. You get a little, you start to nibble on the ear and you start gagging. <laughs> oh, crust. And you look back there and there's cheese, ear cheese. Ear so, cheese. And he goes, honey, you got some of your dinner on your, <laughs> behind your ear and then he licks it off. I can't, I can't, I can't <laughs> believe some people don't clean behind their ear. That is a, even if I don't wash my hair, I take and I clean, I'm a, I just mm-hmm. don't really ever think to clean behind my ears because they're just right there. And like, I don't ever think mine are dirty. And I always thought washing the hair was enough. Yeah. Because the soap. It just streamed down. No. I'm but a, no. I'm a, now, yeah. I take a washcloth and mm-hmm. scrub it. Mm-hmm. Brett, do you wash your ears? Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm doing that like the whole time, like the drain thing. Doing the If you're not pulling, that. if you're not yanking, you're washing behind your ears. You get the drainage, too, yeah. going on. I guess I do the drainage stuff a lot with, like, oils. Maybe that's what it's kind of helping. Yeah. Bro, that's, oh, my God. I can't believe Tina doesn't wash behind her ears. I'm texting that bitch. Well, it's dry skin is what it is and all that buildup. You got to get the. Well, that if you think about it, that's a crevice. Your ear is. I mean, that's yeah. a, it's not a big crevice. That's a little crevice. And then if your head gets sweaty and nasty, so is right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. But it's not covered with hair. I've always cleaned, like, my ears. Yeah, but not the back. Just not behind. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I've been oh. getting flakes in the upper area of my ears. The little corn maze. <laughs> corn the, maze. <laughs> what's that place called? All that, <laughs> those waves. Dude, we are so nasty. We're like, our whole stink. We're getting corn. <laughs> we're getting f- creamy corn. Creamy mazes. corn. Maze. <laughs> yeah, it was white and creamy. <clears throat> Gosh, man. <clears throat> well, thank you for calling in. A lot of people love, love their own smells and that's fine. Love thy smell. Yeah. Love yourself always, no matter what, no matter how stinky your holes are. Oh, Love yeah. you. Thanks Love for you calling honest. in, honeys. If you're sitting in your car right now and thinking, damn, I want better sex, well, then guess what? You are listening to the right podcast because we have something for you. We got you a big old fat discount at adamandeve.com. Paige, what's adamandeve.com? I've been living under a rock. Let me tell you, if you love busting nuts, they, whether that's by yourself or with a partners, okay, they've got the thing for you. Plugs, clit ticklers, dildos. I mean, I could literally sit here for an hour and go on with all the stuff they've got. Listen, if you're thinking, whoa, I mean, are they good stuff? Listen, they've been in business for decades, okay? Multiple decades they've got everything you're gonna need to help you bust a nut i mean sex swings lube i I, like i was saying i literally could go on but you could get on there and look for yourself it doesn't matter how much you spend or what you buy all will be packaged discreetly for you so you don't have to worry about anybody knowing what you are buying and it's for free, okay, and fast. And if you're wondering, man, I don't, I don't want my uh, next door neighbor, the old lady next door, knowing that I'm buying butt plugs. Guess what? She's not gonna know, okay? Because like Paige said, the package is discreet. Unless you want her to know, then hell, go over there and just tell her what you bought. Just enter offer code viral at checkout. That's viral, V-I-R-A-L, at adamandeve.com. This is exclusive offer specific to this podcast, so be sure to use code viral to get your discount. 
100% free shipping and get it fast with rush processing. Code viral. Oh, yeah. Hey, honeys. Auntie Banana here. Uh, I just wanted to tell you about a story I just thought of that um, my brother-in-law told me a long time ago. Um, when he was in medical school, one of the other residents he was working with told him a story about how a lady came into the emergency room one day, and she was clearly on some type of drugs, not sure what, but she had pain in her pelvic area. And so they went to do an exam, and when they went to look in her vagina, they found um, every flavor of those, like, EOS chapsticks, those, like, egg-shaped chapsticks, every flavor, um, two rusted how, or I think it was like a rusted house key or something. And then the best part where um, she had those mini, like two mini troll dolls stuffed up her vagina and she referred to them as her lady purse or referred to her vagina as her lady purse and those trolls were the gatekeepers. Um, so yeah, just uh, thought maybe you'd enjoy that entertaining little story. Can't believe it's real, but uh, it is. <laughs> um, but anyway, oh yeah. Oh. Dude, she's got a deep cavity. <laughs> to have gatekeepers? To have two troll dolls, every flavor of those little ball chapsticks, and house keys? Eels are pretty big, too. Those are big chapsticks. Those are big. Yeah, I'm just trying to think of one of those in my puss cake. Listen, Damn. I hope this lady's okay. I hope she's off drugs. I don't know what kind of drugs she was on, but can you imagine getting so high that you're just walking around the house being like, what can I stick up there next? To be a gatekeeper. And then a rusted key. The trolls didn't do their job. Keys are going up in there. Dude. Oh, man. Rusting. I've only stuck a perfume bottle up there. But yeah, you didn't keep it up there. No, I was just ma- and a squash. You're right. A squash. Just yeah. things I masturbated with and had sex with. Oh, my sister called last night and said, oh, yeah, me and my friends back in high school would go buy cucumbers and condoms, and um, we would all fuck them in oh front of my, each other. I can't believe you're saying this. In front of each other? <laughs> Whoa, that's a thing. I said, dude, imagine you're just uh, the cash register person, <laughs> just like, okay, each of these girls are buying cucumbers and condoms. This is a, this is a weird add-up. Well, and it's like, go to separate rooms. Like, why? Like, can, yeah. you, can you imagine, like, okay, now you go. I'm waiting on you. Yeah, that's a very interesting. And I bet I know which sister it was. I'm not going to say. Oh, I already said it. You did? You just said sister. Oh, I definitely said Jasmine. Oh, I knew, I knew, <laughs> dude, I knew it was Jasmine. Holy I knew shit. it was Jasmine. She, well, hmm. D- did she say I could ask the podcast if anybody's ever done this? No, I think we tried to get her to say who it was but she said it was a secret she'll never tell well, well that's fine nobody else <laughs> we're not saying anybody and here's else. the thing <clears throat> you live cu- and you learn a cucumber <clears throat> just you don't need a condom on that cucumber is hard enough and it's and it's soft like why the condom pesticides maybe yeah i don't yeah. know smart Pesticide. <laughs> smart pesticides smart those pesticides yeah they're just trying to be healthy interesting yeah organic smart and healthy <laughs> yeah i've just done uh, yellow squash, a perfume bottle, and then sex toys. I've never done anything, anything crazy. <laughs> Just dicks and fingers and dicks, tongues, fingers, tongues. Squash. Dicks, fingers, tongues, a squash, perfume bottle. Couches. I've humped couches. They didn't go in me, but I Bonnie. did. I've humped the dolls. Okay, all right, we get it. We get it. We get it. I've masturbated with a lot of household items. We get it. Think of that troll doll hair coming out. All oh, wet. <laughs> oh god! I wonder if it's mm. just like slick back, looking like fucking looking like trailer Elvis. Tammy. Mm. Slick back hair. Yeah, looking like Tammy dolls. Gosh, dude, that is fucking funny, dude. I love troll dolls when I was little, and I remember one time I went to went to this uh, yard. I, okay, I can't think of a troll doll without thinking of this story. So my best friend from high school, her sister and brother-in-law were youth pastors and do you remember the story (laughs) and we went down to dallas dallas has this big like every year they have like like sprint like everybody has yard sales it's like it's like a big convention big like every town like every county has yard sales it's a big thing and so anyway we went down there we were yard selling i was probably 
four, 13, 14. You know, I had no money. I took maybe a few dollars with me, whatever. And we just went down there and we were, you know. And I saw this really uh, cute troll doll with hot pink hair. And I wanted it. You know, I think I paid a dollar or something, you know. Because I remember having them when I was real, real little, but they kind of went away. Mm-hmm. And I saw it. I was like, I want the troll doll. Bought the troll doll. Went back to the car. Everyone was like, oh, what did everybody get? And I showed my troll doll. And you would think I showed them an upside down cross with 666 on it. Damn. Freaking the fuck out. Freaking that is that will not be in our car. That is satanic. That is demonic. And I'm like, huh? I literally was like, what? I go, it's oh, it had a it was for the end of my pencil. <gasps> had a hole oh, in it. Yeah. Up the butt. And I go, I'm just I go, I don't understand what and I still don't know the connection they were talking about to this day made me go take it back. I couldn't get, I, they, they didn't even want it in the car freaking out as if I had brought some sort of like, Oh my gosh. You went and walked it back. Did they give you your money back? I think so. I was literally like, you guys, it's like a piece of plastic with some hair. I mean, freaking out on me. Uh, so you, now you I just keep describing it. They're freaking out. So now I can't think of a troll doll or see a troll doll without thinking of that. We need to get a troll doll for the pod room. Yeah. I, I have like mm-hmm. seven yeah, of them. One. I bought Libby a troll doll, but yeah, I have been hearing their. I don't know. I don't. I need to do my research on them because that's very interesting. Like, why were we so infatuated with these things as kids? They were cute. Yeah, and all the different colored hair. But now all I can think about is a tr- uh, wet haired troll doll. I'm looking up here. I looked up troll doll satanic. It just says. Author Phil Phillips spent the 80s warning parents about forces in children's uh, toys and TV anim- animation. Blah, blah, blah. Don't know what that means. Um, let's see. I'm seeing not. It just says Trolls World Tour. They said Tamic. No, that's not. I think it's just the whole concept of the pencil going up the anus. They didn't like. Maybe. No, Brett. That's no? not it. Because <laughs> hey. she says it was for the pencil. No, come on oh, now. Yeah. Um. People comment saying my Furbies are scary, too. I love uh, the Furbies. I've always had Furbies, but people are saying it has something to do with, like, they can hear you and all this stuff. And this says, <clears throat> and here's my thing, and I think I tried to talk, I, tr- I think I tried to explain this to them, but they weren't having it. I see a, um a article here that says, evil things un- unknowingly in Christian households. Here's the thing. If it's how do I explain what I'm thinking? If it's unknowingly, do, doesn't okay. How do I hold on? Let me let me let me get this out. <clears throat> I feel like it something only holds power if you let it. So like I was, I had told them, I'm like, listen, this is a piece of plastic with some hair. It's not. It's not. That's what it is to me. It's not. If I don't know, then we don't know. And nobody knows. Right. Does that make sense? Like if someone's like, oh, you have a um, you have a crocodile. I'm picking up our little crocodile here. You have a crocodile in your home? That's like, that's supposed to be, well, you know, like whatever. Yeah. Well, is it though? Or is it a piece of wood? Yeah, you could kind of turn anything to anything. Like that only holds negative power if I think it holds negative power. Am yeah. I? Because that- we were doing the thing where you would, you know, do that gesture below your knee, and then somebody would look and you would punch them. So we're doing all that, and then then it, some people say, "Oh, that's racist," you know. Oh, I hadn't even heard like, that. Like we were doing that thing. Where oh you yes, like yes, that, yes. Where okay. you do like the yeah. okay, yeah, and then you punch somebody, and then you don't think anything wrong of it, and then right. you're making those symbols. That's what I'm saying. Is it? If you don't know. If you just play stupid or you're just stupid and don't know. I don't know. I guess I'm not, I'm not saying it how I'm really feeling or, you know what I mean? I don't know. I think it's coming out. It's okay. Okay. Since what you're saying. You get me. what I'm saying. I just don't know the right word. Do you right. guys? I don't know. If someone were to come in and be like, oh, you can't, that's not, you shouldn't have that. That's whatever. I'm like, well, that's just a cookie jar to me. You're oblivious to it. It doesn't mean anything other than what I think it is. So does it it does it really hold negative power over me? No, because I don't let it. It's a cookie jar. You know? I don't know. 
I just thought that was a little ridiculous, and I've never been able to think of trolls the same, ever. I mean, so they weird were how little things freaking out on me. When I was at youth camp, we were doing the light as a feather, stiff as a board thing mm-hmm. game. Mm-hmm. Oh damn! They those youth leaders came running in there. Oh god! Like never fucking before. We all got. Uh, kicked out of youth camp because that's like well you guys needed it the most y'all were doing a satanic ritual d- if anybody bad. needed the we lord it was a, you guys we were in a tent dude with flashlights out in the middle of nowhere. and they kicked y'all out y'all needed the lord the most <laughs> <laughs> i know it was all the seniors like doing it with us so oh we just you don't think it's a bad thing like even yeah. roses posies we all fall down is i guess yeah. a satanic kid song i don't know I don't know. But we all did that on the trampoline. Ashes, yeah. ashes, they we all fall down. down. That's bad, I guess, now, too. That's a so. great song. So I what's even like real? About the plague, maybe. Just all the kids dying. What are the... Think. Huh? What are the uh, lyrics to that? Ring around the rosies, pocket full of posies, ashes, ashes, we all fall down. See, that just seems like some kids doing rings around the flower beds, and then they fall. Which is what we did in circles, didn't we? But where do those ashes come in? <laughs> yeah, who knows? It says the uh, ring around the rosy is a coded reference to a red circular rash common in certain forms of the plague. And what was the posies? Uh, what? The flowers, flowers that people carried to fend off the illness. I never I even knew that. Yeah, just little things you just are monitored to do. You're, yeah. And we just do it and then... Yeah. Then you just Google it or you TikTok it and you go, whoa, I can't believe I was doing all that. Listen, nobody really knows anything about anything. Mm-mm. If you think about it. I don't know shit. Oh, I just, think, just I, think I do. I don't. Oh, there's so much. Yeah. <laughs> I know I've said that before. Damn. Lots going on. Lots mm-hmm. going on that we don't know about. So let's just say, <laughs> let's just say that. Like, for instance, I'm doing Kegels right now and none of y'all knew. Hmm? Huh? I'm doing Kegels right now, <laughs> and nobody knew. So you thought you knew everything? Gotti. <laughs> Gotti. John Gotti. John Gotti. All right. Well, thank you for calling in, honeys. We love you. Oh, so much. The average person has around 12 paid subscriptions. Think about that. If you think you're only subscribed to a handful of services, <laughs> You might want to double check, okay? With Rocket Money, you can quickly identify and cancel all of your unwanted subscriptions. Rocket Money, formerly known as Truebill, is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. Listen, over 80% of people have subscriptions they forgot about. And if you're thinking, oh, I'm I'm not one of those 80. Like, I, I know all the subscriptions I have. <laughs> Guess what? I thought I was in that 80% too, okay? Like that streaming service you bought, you know, just to watch one show. Or that free trial that you never used. You guys, you're wasting money. It's very, very easy. Simply find the subscription you don't want and press cancel. That's it. And Rocket Money will cancel it for you. No more long hold times with customer service. That's annoying, right? Or tedious emailing back and forth. Rocket Money makes canceling subscriptions as easy as a click of a button. You guys know I talked about my little mishap. I've talked it on on these Moomoo commercials before. I've talked about it on the pod. Some famous pop star that has a lingerie business. I can't say the name here was charging me a lot of money per month. It ended up being over $600. And guess what? I never knew about it until I used Rocket Money. And it's free, okay? I mean, and it's easy to use. You're literally not missing out. You're not You're not missing out on anything here, okay? All you can do is save money, you guys. Stop throwing your money away. Cancel unwanted subscriptions and manage your expenses the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash viral. That's rocketmoney.com slash viral. Rocketmoney.com slash viral. Hey, honey. 
Rock Bucker here since day one. I have a couple would you rathers. Mm. Okay, first one is would you rather be three feet tall or eight feet tall? Second one, would you rather smell like a hamster cage or smell like cheese that's been sitting out in the sun? Last one, would you rather have no sense of smell or no sense of taste? Let me know. Love ya. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. These were all three great. I know. I wrote them down so I wouldn't forget. <clears throat> would you rather be three feet or eight feet tall? God, there's there's disadvantages to both. I feel like if you're, I feel like you'd fit more comfortably into cars, airplanes if you're three feet tall, and you're extra cute. And you probably don't, you can't legally drive, so that would be not bad. Right, people just driving you around. <laughs> if you're eight feet tall, you can't fit. I mean, that's that's big and i saw eight feet motherfucker walking to mcdonald's looking at the menu while going to the bathroom wax his head up on the up on the ledge so see and i'm thinking three i i'm thinking three too because i'd want people to carry me around and stuff oh and a (laughs) bajorn you know i'm gonna go with three feet yeah it's three feet for me um now would we rather smell like a hamster cage or cheese that's been out in the sun fuck dude hamster cages are Bad, but probably because I was we were bad at changing out the shit. Dude, I'm going with cheese out in the sun. Melted cheese. That smells great. Okay, I'll be some queso. Right? You know? Hell, I'll put that in the perfume. I'll spray that on me now. Oh, gosh. Cheese ha- does smell. But a hamster cage? You know people are going to be thinking that's your pussy. A hamster cage <clears throat> is a bad fucking smell. They need to change up that sawdust stuff. Oh, and then just... Yes, I no, I can't do hamster cage, so I'm going with cheese, okay? <clears throat> and then would we rather have no sense of smell or no sense of taste? I'd rather have no sense of smell, but isn't that kind of if you don't if you can't smell, you can't taste? Well, let's be hypothetical here. Yeah. <laughs> well, am I losing both? Brett just goes. Brett, you don't say well, yeah. Anyway. Brett so high. <laughs> Hold on, Brett so high that everyone just goes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going with no smell. I don't give a fuck about it. I no. I'm I want to taste my shit. To not smell your farts <clears throat> would be great. Your guys's. I don't mind my own, but Right. Yeah, same. Yeah. What are y'all going with over there? Three feet or eight feet? Three. Okay. I think I would rather be eight foot. Why? Just because I, I feel like you would be able to do more. See, I feel opposite. I wouldn't want to be um helpless being three foot tall I, I feel like you wouldn't be able to like protect yourself oh in that you know way. what i mean you just get a gun yeah. that's true yeah. but <laughs> i don't know i'd rather be eight foot i can i can see where that you're coming from on that i don't know yeah okay yeah stay that, strapped stay strapped you know <laughs> okay what about hamster cage or cheese cheese in the sun cheese yeah cheese cheese, cheese. no smell no taste Okay. No smell. Yeah, smell. Yeah. Okay. And you plus, gotta I could taste fart your food. Too. I need to taste food. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We gotta taste food. What's the point yeah. of living if you can't taste your food? Right. There isn't a point because there's not. I've been sick before where I haven't, and it sucked. Love eating. You just try to imagine the taste. This group <laughs> loves eating. Tell you that much. And we love farting, so that would be a win-win. It'd it a would. It'd be a win-win for us. Double whammy, yeah. for sure. I love the would you rather's. Keep those coming, honeys. Oh, every day. Yeah. Thank That's you for calling cool. in. Love ya. Hey, honey. So I called earlier about my friend who throws up on purpose. Um, while well, sucking a guy's dick, right? And I just realized that <laughs> I have no room to talk because we're talking about, I hear you guys talk about foot, uh, foot, foot, foot fetishes. Um, <laughs> and my boyfriend has a thing about feet. And um, I don't, like, take pictures or anything. Literally, the only thing we pretty much do is... Um, Sometimes when he's horny and I don't want to do it with him, he just, like, asks if he can borrow my feet. And he'll jack off 
using my feet. Hmm. <laughs> and I asked him, like, I'm just as curious as everybody else, like, what is it about feet that's, like, so exciting? And he says it's, for him, he says it's not, like, um, like the toenails or anything. He's like, the thing that I have a, a thing for is the sole of the feet and using that texture to touch his penis just gets yeah. him off, you know. I'm like, it's weird, but I'll take that over him being an alcoholic or a druggie any oh, day. Yeah. If that is your thing, thank you for that. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's better that than drugs. <laughs> sure. Um, yeah. Yeah. Bye. Bye, honeys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bye, honeys. He goes, I'm not a toenail guy or nothing. I just like the soles. The so soulful. Uh, Sorry, honeys, our dogs are barking. Dogs Greg, are going nuts. What, Greg? Greg's here? Yeah, Greg They're, must be here. Yeah, sorry for the barks. Um, um, but you are right because I'd rather, you know, my cousin right now is on some drugs and it really does tear down your family. Yeah. You know, so it, I'd much rather have him fucking souls. Right. And, you know? Right. I'd take the souls over the drugs any day you're right it could be worse and he could be into worse stuff sexually you know he could love like when you shit on him or something yeah or love shitting on you or something you know so you're right hey in in, in any aspect of your life it could be worse so great way to think about that um man we've really talked about this a lot on the pod but dudes just love fucking feet dude to be honest if i was ever tired i would just I would give up my feet any time. Yeah. Just clean them up after. Right. I think we just like busting nuts. Right. And, you know, feet work. <laughs> feet work. <laughs> if they're feet close work. by. If yeah. they're close by. Something close. Yeah. I wonder how he's fucking them. If he just has the bed height, that's perfect for his dick. I don't know. How do you wrap your feet around the dick tight enough to... To jerk off with. I think mine make a pretty good slit but together. That, but that's still, I don't know. I don't know. I'd love to see it. Well, I've never seen it. he borrows them. Huh? He borrows them. Right. right. What if he so, has like little levers that go around the feet to just keep them strapped together? It's a good idea. That's actually a brilliant idea. Around the ankles and then the top yeah. of the feet. We need to start a foot fetish toy, sex toy business. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's how we yeah. take over the world. It's like a lingerie, Make but it like for a feet. Glory hole. That's how we take over the world right there. <laughs> Dude, that's wild. I agree with you. I'd be like, if you're tired or something, be like, uh, just use my feet. Hmm. Easy. He ain't got to be near you. He can be at the end of the bed. Oh, gosh. Yeah, you just make like a form with the arches. Yeah. Kind of. I guess so. The arches. Arches of the feet. Dude, hey, as soon as we get this new podcast studio built, we are looking for a dude who has a foot fetish. I'm talking not mild. Not mild. If you are like, listen, I love fucking feet. I love jacking off to feet. I love souls. I love salt. If you are a foot fetish fucker, we will fly you in to Nashville to be on our podcast. I wish that we had the studio, I don't know, like at 95 or a good number. We yeah. need to make it a big thing. Yeah. It's like the hundreds episode or something. That's coming up. Feet, dude. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he has to have time to talk. He can't always have to go, you know. Oh, like, no. Oh, we're, go. Yeah. No, we're flying him in. He's okay. going to be in studio. Yeah, yeah. I wish okay. that we <laughs> could get a foot fetish person and then an expert on, mm. like, why. Like a sex like therapist a, or something. Yeah, or just a psych, like a psychologist and... Mm -hmm. Why people love feet or what arouse it. Just for any Kingsley. Yeah. Very interesting. Good idea. Great idea. Okay. Thank you for calling in. We love you. Thank you for the call. Thank you. Hey, honeys. Burnt out nurse here. I'm just feeling stuck. I did all this hard work to become a nurse. I still have goals to further my degree. I want to be a high-level event practice nurse, but I still have to go get my bachelor's and then go back to school for that. But 
I'm feeling stuck. I work in one of the best hospitals, quote unquote best, in the world, in the country, biggest. We do the most highest security, and I've gotten really good experience in the two years that I've been there. However, the more I see, the less I want to be in this field. When they say it's all about the money, that's not a lie. I've seen them put fucking black ass, gray ass lungs into transplant patients for lung transplants. I've seen them talk patients' families out of withdrawing care who are clearly just fucking dead. And this is day to day. It's it, it wears on you. And I don't know if switching to like home health, I'd feel more fulfilled. I'm just stuck. But I'm about to listen to episode 78. Turn my mood around, feel better. I've been applying at other places. I'm just scared. I thought this is what I wanted to do. And I don't want to leave this field because I feel like I still could find something else. It just sucks. Going through all the steps and having to learn the hard way. But I love you, honeys. Keep on doing what you're doing. Like I said, I'm going to change my mood around and listen to this episode here with Paige's dad. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Love you. Love you, honeys. Oh, man, I'm so sorry. Um, Listen, here's my thing. Yeah, you've spent a lot of time and dedicated a lot of time and life into this. You've spent a lot of money on school. Um, But what's the point of living if your quality of life is not good? You know, it's never too late for anything. People change jobs, careers. You don't have to have it all figured out by the time you're 25. I mean, people change careers at 50, 60, 70. Like, even Greg now, like a couple years ago, Greg was still studying for, you know, for his master's. And now he's just going to stop doing that. And he quits his job at the end of this, this month, beginning of next month, quits his job. He'll be 40. You know, he's terrified. He, he is so scared to quit his job, but. I have been telling him for the past 10 years, 10 years, I have said, if you don't find another career, you're going to have a heart attack. How long did he go to school? He did the four years, he's eight years total. He did the four years, you know, regular and then, and then, um, he just got his master's. Yeah. But, sometimes if it's just not going right for you or you see things you don't like and you don't want to be in that type of environment, then get out just like a relationship if Mm -hmm. it's not going well you have all the resources to just leave and it's terrifying i get it greg is i was scared when i quit my nine to five to do comedy full-time i was terrified greg is terrified he's like chelsea i don't know what i'm gonna do i don't and we're you know very blessed that you know he doesn't have to go get a job right away he can figure out what he wants to do there's plenty for him to do here to do in nashville he's wanting to do a bunch of stuff i said just take a minute take a breath you've been working your ass off at this job for the past 10 years i go take a breather and then figure out what you want to do mm-hmm. and and i've told him i go that job's not worth it he's stressed 24 7 he works his fucking ass off he works constantly and i literally had to force him to quit I'm like, you're quitting. You are quitting, and yeah. you're doing something else. Good. For quality of life, man. He's 40. He's terrified. He's like, this is all I've known. My whole adult life is doing this. I'm like, well, this is the second chapter. Because there's no way he's enjoying it. No, right? he's not. Yeah, I was thinking, you know, that is number one, kind of just, you know, a life goal. Just whatever I'm doing, make sure I'm enjoying it whatever work I'm doing you know whether it's crafts or I just want to work my way towards that so I never feel stuck doing something I you know or trapped or right and listen dude work sucks nobody likes I mean if we could all just live off the land and have a great little lot and nobody had to work that that'd be great people would probably choose to do that rather than work everybody's got to work work sucks somewhat but you have to be able to enjoy it most of the time enjoy what you do 
everything's your own choice. So I, I'm just thinking quality of life. Yeah. You went to school for it. Is that a waste? No, you have to, you, I think you should, you're on the right track. You're applying the jobs. You're trying, trying to move around, do something different. I think you should. I think if you are truly miserable, I don't think that's good. Sometimes it's hard to make decisions when you know friends or family, anybody have kind of gone through your career with you, and then you say, oh, I'm going to give up that, and then you you already know people are going to go, but you went to school for it. It's just like, who cares whatever, fuck what everybody else thinks. Do yeah. what makes mm-hmm. you happy and do yeah. what you enjoy. Has and to we be for love you. you. And, ha- has yeah. to be for you, honey. So don't worry about anyone else. You got this. Yeah. Whatever career choice you choose. Yeah. As long as you're good. Gucci. And, and real quick before we move on, I, I just don't think that even if you go to school for something, you have to have that job for the rest of your life. It's okay to change and move careers even when you're older it, does, it there's no rules to this life people think there are so many rules there's not do whatever you want you have to do it makes you happy i've switched up i switch up something every day almost mm-hmm. you your, know? your hair <laughs> your hair no just like even with thinking about the future or you know when i was growing up even in high school oh and be a radiologist no i don't want to do this like i went to school to be a freaking news media broadcaster and now now i'm here talking about how to eat ass and hey you're broadcasting how to eat ass you're doing it you're taking over the world (laughs) you're taking (laughs) so i'm so sorry honeys you you feel stuck but i think i think you're on the right track you know what to do you know one more thing the lungs transferring freaking black lungs into like old dusty ass well hospitals are businesses they have to make money and, you know, a lot of people think, oh, the hospitals are do what's best for you. No, they do what's best for their bank account. The, them pockets. Right. So, yeah. um, oh, thank you for calling in, honeys. I hope the days get easier for you. We love you. Love you. This is the last call. Last call. Hi, honeys. Long time follow of year. I have been listening to your podcast since I was pregnant and I used to walk. And listen to your podcast in my headphones. And now my baby is almost six months old, which is fucking crazy. But this has to do with um, first-time sex and if you lost your virginity. So the first time I did it, um, he put it in one time. Hurt so fucking bad. One time, though. So that's like whatever it was with Mormons I did, right? They put it in one time. Um, it popped my cherry though, and that was it. Second time I did it, you know, actually fucked, but in and out. But does my first time count? I mean, my cherry popped, but more men say they put it in once. It doesn't count, so let me know. Love you. Chelsea, can't wait to see you in Greater Abbott this summer. Love you, sugar. Bye. Great call. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Can we answer that, or am I tripping? <laughs> Uh, the cherry pop. I don't know. I think we have answered that I one before. I feel no? like we have. Because we said, like, yeah, if you, it's going in. We've answered that call. Uh-huh. Hmm. Yeah, and he's got the calls mixed up. It's the only one under that category. Okay. That's all right. Well, we already answered that months ago. Oh. Am I tripping? No, I think we've definitely answered anyway, that for sure. Well, yeah. She's saying, does the first one count? Yeah, you're fucking. A winner went in you. We did answer that. I know we did. Imagine you go back and it's us saying, no, it's not. You're, that's not fucking. No, people are going to be like, yep, that was answered on episode 42. Like, they'll know. But why not have let's, a refresher? Let's refresh it. Hey, honeys, if a wiener got in you. And your cherry didn't pop. I've never had a, what are you talking about, Brett? It's okay. We'll end it with this call. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at Gary. Um. Yeah, if a wiener went in you, that's your virginity, honeys, right? Yeah, because I don't think there's always just blood everywhere if you're first fucking, you know, so... I never bled. Yeah, so what if you just never blood, but then you're you're getting railed all the time, then you're just like, I don't know, I've never <laughs> fucked. Right, that's true. If you're waiting on blood, <laughs> if you're waiting on blood, you might be waiting for decades. Who knows? It's not a virgin. <laughs> right. Virgin Mary, dude. Uh, 
All right. Well. Yeah. So you're fucking, and if you have anything to call in about, if you need advice from us, we we give out wonderful advice. Um, give us a call. Give us a call at four four two seven 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 three 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 one. And always remember that you are doing great. You're looking good. And fuck what everybody else thinks. Get ready. We're going viral. Get ready. We're going viral. Woo! Drink so much tea, I'm gonna pee my pants.